Beal Street, first of all, all of you, it's a very what you important doing? occasion. Tonight represents the 94th musical note to go on Beal Street. We couldn't have a more important person. When we first started the redevelopment of Beal Street, I think the second or third person we talked to about it was Fred Jones. As he was a special person, he understood the importance of diversity in our community. He understood the importance of Beale Street. And more importantly, he had a vision about this game, the Southern Heritage Classic, which has done so much for Beale Street and has done so much for this community and this region that we honor him for that tonight also. But more importantly, I think it's very significant that Fred Jones note will go in front of the historic Daisy Theater next door to Ernest Weather, one of the great photographers of the South, his great exhibit opens October 5th. Handy's house at the end of Beale Street. All these things are important to the history and character of this great street. And Fred Jones will always be memorialized right in front of here. We thank him for what he has done for our city, what he's done for this region, and what he's done for everything that is good about the city of Memphis. Thank you, John. Wow, what a great day for Mr. Fred Jones. I will tell you this, over the, last, over the last 21 years of working with Fred on the Southern Heritage Classic, he has never once said anything about making money. His whole deal is, I want people to have a good time, man. I want people to have a good time. I want them to remember it, and I want them to come back. The Southern Heritage Classic is what Fred Jones will be known for, not just in Memphis, but nationwide. And it is great for Fred to get a brass note on Bill Street. I tell you, it couldn't have happened to a better guy. It's been a pleasure knowing Fred Jones for the last 28 years. I'm looking forward to another 28 years of working with you, Fred. God bless you, man, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Bobby. I'm Dean Dale of the Memphis Music Foundation. We are proud uh, at the foundation to be part of the group that's going to continue the Beale Street Note program. When John Elkington and his company put it together, started it here in Beale Street, has run it for all these years, 94 notes, and it was just too important of a program uh, to let it go. Uh, and so we're proud to be part of the group that's going to be continuing it long into the future. And so congratulations to Fred Jones. And when we honor someone like Fred, uh, it does two things. One, for all of you tourists that are here visiting Memphis, thank you all. We're glad to have you here. These notes help to remind you of this deep diversity that we have of Memphis music. And uh, we're proud to have all of you here to, to, to share in that history. And it also helps to remind all of us that live here in Memphis about, again, all of the genres of Memphis music, all of the legacy of Memphis music, and helps remind us every day to have these notes. So we're proud to continue this program. Uh, as we go forward now over the uh, these next months, we already have notes planned for, for Big Star, for Marty Lacker, for Jim Dickinson, for Bo Lakes Miller. There'll be a lot of these events to honor people like Fred Jones, who have made such a difference to Memphis music. So thank you all for coming today. It's pretty special. They've been asking a million times about how does it feel. But you know, being a, a native Memphian, Bill Street has always had a special place in our heart. And I know when I was a little kid, uh, growing up and going to down Bill Street and and. Uh, Listen to my friend, listen to my mother and father and other people talk about going to Beale Street. And it was always a special place. And Beale, for me, Beale Street has an even bigger uh, special place for me because right over here, that it been uh, used to a place called Avalon Pool. And uh, I remember going there one day and a young kid and uh, I just had fun down in college and that's another part of the story in there. I really had fun out of college and was trying to, didn't know really what I was going to do. And it was a gentleman in the pool room named Lewis who told me that day to keep trying. And that day I got a job at Union Planners Bank on 
that thing, I went to another branch and started working with the people at Snatch Records. Uh, Soldier, the baby for the Ivy Page, you name them all. That started there 40 years ago. And I, I think back on that because if I had not taken his advice, maybe I would not be here today. So I know it's, it's, it sounds, when I tell people the story about I flunked out of college, they kind of look at me like, really? But the strange thing about it, three weeks later, I went back to college and I, I stayed there until I finished. So that whole... So we got a lot of young people here today, so the, the moral of that story is that never give up. You, you just never know, and you have to stay, stay focused, and, and God is always uh, in our family, is always in the plan, and I'm just glad that I'm able to, to share it with my family, share it with the Southern Heritage Classic family, and share it with people around the world. This means a lot to me. I've got a lot of awards and recognition, but nothing beats this. This is about as special as it gets. So I'm a young kid growing up in South Memphis to now being born in Bill Street. <laughs> hey, brother, if everybody can tell me about how big a smile I have, let me tell you, I'm doing all I can not to break down, but this is, this is too much. But thank you very much for being here and good. Dean, what do we do from here? Thank you very much. Thank you. John Bobby Wright. We'll make this official. On behalf of Beale Street, this is the 94th, right? The 94th note goes to Fred Jones.